Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you the techniques for care and handling for the fragrant lilacs so that you can keep them alive as long as possible and enjoy them throughout the season. As with most fragrant flowers, lilacs are a little bit shorter lived. We always wish they would last longer, but part of their beauty is that fragrance. And when a flower gives off so much fragrance, it's going through a transpiration, meaning the moisture is evaporating out from their petals, and it does shorten the life. So the more fragrant, the shorter. But there are tricks that you can do to keep them alive a little longer than short, short, short. I had a phone call just yesterday. Someone said, my lilacs always die in one day. And I thought, oh, how dreadful. I would not want to have such a beautiful flower for only one day. And with these little tricks, you'll find that you can keep them alive for three, four, five days maybe, but certainly much longer than one day. Key is to make sure that you always use flower food. The flower food is very, very, very important because it keeps them nutritioned with food, but more importantly, it keeps the water clear. It keeps the bacteria down. And it also lowers the pH slightly so that they'll drink water more rapidly. So that's what you want them to do. You want them to drink, drink, drink so that they stay hydrated. And then you want to keep the water clear and you want to feed them. Then a little trick that I always use with my lilacs, warm water, flower food, and a little splash of bleach. Just a tiny bit of bleach in the water keeps the water clear even longer and keeps your lilacs alive quite a bit longer. Once you have your water prepared, warm water, flower food, bleach, then you just need to prepare the flowers themselves. Bring in a bundle, undo them, loosen it up, shake them so that they come untangled, then look for anything broken and damaged. If it's broken, you can't save it. Set it off. Then the stem, just take and snap it so you get the bark opened and tore off. Then I take a towel and rub down to get the cooties off because there's always little moss and bacteria and stuff that's on the branch itself. So by separating them, well, this is going to be so huge. I'm going to break it down here. Use my pruner. Look for broken. No broken on this one. Give it a snap. Rub off the cooties and then set it into the holding vessel. You want to do this with all your stems. Looking for broken, giving it a nice break on the bottom, clean off that stem, and then let them drink for at least two hours before you do anything else. Get them fully hydrated, that way they'll last the longest possible. For the sake of speed, I did some ahead of time. So they've already been sitting for two hours. They're fully hydrated and ready to go. Now if you are gathering lilacs from your own yard, you may discover that some varieties don't last as well as the commercial lilacs. And that's just the variety. There's nothing you can do about that. And then one hint when you are gathering from your own yard, gather early in the morning while it's still cool. There may even be some dew on the blooms. They last much better than if you gather late in the day when it's been hot and they've been going through the whole transpiration of letting moisture out into the air, making your yard fragrant. But they are then dehydrated, so they won't last as long. Now, these have been hydrating for two hours. They're ready to go. And lilacs are so fabulous, you can just pull them out and transfer them over to a beautiful vessel. Of course, a little bit of bleach in there too. It does make a difference. Already have flower food. And then just dropping them down into the water. Letting them arc out gracefully. Working with their natural curvature. So if it goes to the right, let it go to the right. If they go to the left, let them turn over towards the left. Some varieties may be a little straighter. This one's got a little arm there that's going to be in my way, so I'm going to just break him off. And then set it in. And now I'm totally in a jungle. You can't even see me. But isn't it fabulous to have so many lilacs that you get lost in the forest? 
It's almost a fantasy for a florist to be hiding in the forest of lilacs. Now that you know the tricks to keep the lilacs alive as long as possible, the only reason for dismay is that the season is so short. So the minute you see them start to bloom, gather some from your yard, buy them at the store, and bring them home and enjoy. And repeat that over and over until the season is done, because it's a long time until they come back. If you're here in the Pacific Northwest, join me. We head up to Woodland to the Holda Clogger Lilac Gardens. Can't hardly say that. Holda Clogger Lilac Gardens. It's a mouthful. They bloom so many different varieties, absolutely gorgeous, right around Mother's Day. If you join us from the east side of the country, head north to Niagara, there's a lilac garden there that is absolutely splendid. Maybe you know of a garden in your area. If you do, let me know. And if I ever make it during lilac season, you know I'll come. So for now, happy lilac season. Have fun and do something you love.